Hey YouTube, welcome to the second to last episode of Hell's Kitchen. Part one of the season finale. It was hot. We got a lot to yep. get to, so we'll get right to it. It's down to Bonnie and Rock in the final two. And Chef Gordon has them both in the dining room. And they're there, uh, Bonnie is there with her mom and dad. And Rock is there with his wife. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> this screen comes down so Metal fast. Screen. Yeah. And it splits the dining room in half. And everyone's like, <gasps> yeah. they could have killed Bonnie's parents. I know. They were kind of old. They weren't. Be, they wouldn't be able to move out of the way so quick. I mean, they could have had a heart attack. Yeah, that too. Okay, so then uh, Chef Gordon says, what kind of a prize would this be without your kids here for you, Rock? So he brought his kids out. They were cute. Yeah, they were really cute. And Rock being... The guy that he is tries to get his wife into the dorm for the night. Ugh. Sorry, Rock. Yeah, in the episode before, he was like, can I have a conjugal visit? Ew. No. Keep it to yourself, Rock. Keep that snake in its cage for the next 36 hours. Ew. <laughs> Alright, so, they've got 36 hours to design uh, the kitchen, the menu, and then they're going to be going head to head. Half of the uh, Hell's Kitchen restaurant is for Bonnie, and half is for Rock. So, Bonnie and Rock are talking back in the dorms, and they're having their last dinner, and, um, whatever his name is, Rock, Rock. is realizing, hmm, Bonnie is kind of smart. So he's like, homegirl is smart. <laughs> I could lose to an effing nanny. Yeah, but that part, he, he said, said to out her loud. face. Yeah. If that, I've... I was there, I would have smacked him right across Bonnie the face. Bonnie was just like... Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks Did you say that out loud? Okay, so John Janovs is the designer that is going to help them uh, design and make the, uh, their half of Hell's Kitchen their own. Mm -hmm. And they met with him. Bonnie was leaning more towards a romantic environment, European style, lots of color. And Rock is leaning towards, now I don't know how this all fits together, yeah, but I don't know. contemporary Southern American uh, with booths, kind of like a home stylish black and white. Home style and contemporary and, don't really go. And black and white and Southern. Yeah. You know? Even the Colonel had a little red in there. <laughs> red and white. Yeah. So. Jean Philippe is going to be helping them uh, with Pick the servers. Pick out server uniforms. Right. Bonnie, keep it classy, right. all black. All in black. Fitted for the women. Right. Because they want to be a little feminine. And Rock suggested that his servers wear jeans. Rock, this is a fine dining restaurant. There's no okay. room for jeans. No. Jean Philippe was like, uh, no. <laughs> Jeans are for minors, okay? <laughs> Not for uh, waitors mm -hmm. and waitresses. So now it was time to talk to the sous chefs to figure out the menus. And Bonnie was talking to Mary Ann. Mm -hmm. And she was saying, oh, what if we did like a grilled cheese and tomato well, soup? Little baby grilled yeah, cheese baby sandwiches. Grilled cheese for the appetizers. Right. <gasps> that sounded good. Yeah, I love, you could put cheese on anything and I'll eat it. Mm -hmm. And of course her uh, linguine pasta uh, with the shrimp, her signature awesome dish. Also sounds good. And Scott was helping out Rock, mm -hmm. and they uh, they came up with his signature dish, the fried chicken and crab cake, which looks a lot better than it sounds. Yeah. You know? Definitely like both separate, but I don't know if I would like them together. Yeah. It's an interesting uh, combination, mm -hmm. anyhow. So after uh, they were talking to the sous chefs, Chef Gordon came out and surprised them both and said, road trip. Actually, a <laughs> private jet trip yeah. to Vegas to check out the restaurant. An air road. And oh, that, that uh, private jet was hot. That is one way to go in style, let me mm. tell you. That is way better than flying commercial. I think so. It's, it's amazing. So they both, I think it was both their first time uh, on the private jet. And mm. uh, they had a great flight. And when they got to Vegas, they went to the hotel suite. The Hidden Valley Ranch Resort. I know. <laughs> and, ooh, that, that suite that they were staying at. I mean, you could have had 20 people in there mm -hmm. staying with you. It yeah, not really like nice. 20 people at a party. 20 people staying there. Yeah. Enough, like, to sleep 20 people. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, then Chef Gordon's like, oh, come over here. Let's have a drink over here. The private bar. Yeah, it's very secluded, you know. So they walk in, and there's about, like, 50 to 100 people in there. There's a lot of people. And they're all like, ah! surprise! <laughs> and they step out onto the stage, and Ramsey's like, "Oh, uh, I got a surprise for you." The surprise was not really, but that the stage was over. It was like that wasn't the surprise. I know, but it, it was surprising to me that I think they covered up the stage, uh, the pool, in like plexiglass, and they made this like weird stage out of it, and it was really cool looking. So they had a surprise challenge. 30 minutes to make their signature dish for some of the top chefs from Las Vegas. They would have seven guest judges tasting their I would have crapped my pants. Now you know immediately when they said that seven guest judges, you're going to hear from all seven. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be three to three and then there's going to be tiebreaker of course. So of course it was exactly like that. So Rock made his fried chicken and crab cakes. Bonnie made her lobster and shrimp pasta. Right. So they started bringing out the chefs. Right. That some would be tasty. Some of the people you might know, Robin Leach. Oh. Yes. I remember that show when I was a little top. I remember him from Surreal Life. <laughs> the styles of the rich and famous. Love it. And of course, Michael, the winner of season one. Hell's Heather, Kitchen. season two winner. Right. And then other people, like executive chefs and stuff. Right. So, uh, and the tiebreaker, number seven, of course, was the executive chef and the, I guess, manager, manager. of uh, the... The restaurant. The restaurant that they're going to, yeah, that's up for grabs. So, I thought they were going to be the executive chef. I don't know whether they're going to be I the sub-executive chef or whether that guy's going and getting another restaurant or something. I don't know. So, Bonnie won. Mm -hmm. Was close. She took an early lead. It was like three to one, but then they had to even it out so that it they was could close. see all the judges. Yeah. So <laughs> after that, they had champagne on the roof with Gordon, and it was spectacular. The strip at night. Mm -hmm. How much better can you get than that? Not much. He surprised them and said, uh, "You're both winners. Here's a trip to New York City." Stay there for a few days, right. come to my chef's table. At the London in New York City. Mm -hmm. Chef Gordon's restaurant. I don't know whether well, he'll actually be cooking or not, but they'll be eating there. <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> Two golden invitations. Right, it was cool. It was very, uh, what's the name of that movie? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory-ish? <laughs> it's kind of weird, like, uh, Chef Gordon was the Gene Wilder Willy character. <laughs> yeah, Willy Wonka. Okay, so it was the last dinner together. Did anybody teach Bonnie how to eat and keep her mouth closed? No. Unbelievable. Food was coming out of her mouth. So, there was just this one quote. Bonnie was like, who's going to be Jesus and who's going to be Judas? And it was like, whoa! Last supper. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the last six Eliminated. chefs right, returned. And you know the story, kids. It's going to help them and hurt them in the kitchen. Yeah. So, there's a little drama there as they're picking. Julia's upset because yeah. she was just eliminated a couple days ago. And now she's back. She really wanted to win. She wasn't even in the final three, though. You know, final she was four. final four and she's having a heart attack. I, I'd be more upset if I was Jen, but Jen's Jen's child. in her own world. Child, Jen is men Giles. Jen was like, Bonnie, I love Bonnie. She's like mentally a child, I think. So, um, yeah. She was the first one picked. Well, since like Bonnie won the challenge, right, she got to pick she got first. To pick first. Right. And you think that they're going to mix it up a little bit, but it ended up with the girls against the boys. Bonnie picked Jen, Melissa, and Julia. Really? She picked Julia last. I know. Bad she move, lies. Bonnie. Bad move. You don't want to get Julia PO'd. Mm -mm, because she's already rooting for Rock. Yes, yeah, she said she was. Yeah. And then Rock picked the boys, of course. And they just happened to be Brad, Vinny, and Josh. Yep. So this should be a very interesting final service. I think the girls would be stronger if they just had three people and not Melissa. Yeah. Because I think Melissa is going to cause problems. Like, I think Julia can get over her... 
something. I hope so, because I'd hate to see her throw it because she, yeah. you know, had bad feelings or whatever. But then again, you know, I think Rock has more support from those three guys than uh, Bonnie has from those three girls. Yeah. So, I don't know. I hate when things like that happen, when you have to rely on other people to uh, ensure your win. Yeah. So, kids, we'll see what happens. See you for the real season finale. Yeah. They say week. it's the closest finished ever, but we'll be the judge of that. Mm -hmm. See you in Hell's Kitchen. Much, Much love. love.